What's happening people? We're back in the kitchen again and if you've been watching these recent videos you'll know that I have a new toy. It is the Ultenic K10 air fryer, basket style air fryer and although the hula hoops on Monday were a disappointment, the air fryer cooked them to perfection. So we're going to ramp it up a notch today and we're going to try another new product from Iceland. This time it is chicken fajita strips now these look good they have got a chili rating so might be a bit too spicy for Dino <laughs> regular viewers of the channel will know I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to my spice chicken breast fillet strips fajita flavour so we're going to give them a go today and even though it doesn't say not sometimes on these Aldi um, Iceland packs they've, they've introduced air fry onto these uh, onto these packs it doesn't say that on this one even though it's new so I'm either thinking it can't be air fried and then we, in which case we'll find out or it's not that new. It might have been out for two years and they're just still putting new on the packet. I've never seen it so we're going to try it today and we're going to try it in this K10 Ultenic air fryer. All the links for the air fryer and all the, all the details will be in the description with the discount codes and the, where you can find it on Amazon. Anyway, fajitas. So... Let's uh, let's have a look at this pack, see what these are all about, and then we'll get them in this air fryer. So here is the bag. 100% chicken breast fillet is the first thing that screams out at you. A 500 gram bag. Chicken breast fillet strips fajita. New. One chilli rating. They look decent, don't they? They look pretty decent, if I'm honest. Right, there's a QR code. I don't know what that does, but if you want to scan that, scan it. Find out. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look at this 100% chicken breast fillet. It's 55% of the meal. So that is 45% uh, out of coating. You've got wheat as the allergen. And then it says some, some bones may remain. And then it, gives you t it tells you why. Why does it say 100% chicken breast fillet if it's 55% chicken breast fillet? Made with 100% chicken breast fillet means we only use chicken breast fillet. The other 45% relates to other ingredients such as the coating. And that is the nutritional information. So per one third of the pack, 26.4 grams of protein, 24.1 grams of carbs and 360 calories. So a little bit of information there also. It says fajita chicken breast fillet strips. Cooked chicken breast fillet strips in a fajita style marinade with a spicy crumb coating. I'm hoping it's not too spicy. How to cook. See, like I said, it doesn't say that you can cook it in an air fryer. Normally, these Iceland ones have, have have introduced the air fryer options on these, but this one has not. So it does say 200 for 20 minutes, turn halfway through. But, of course... With these new air fryers, these basket style air fryers, you don't need to turn because you can shake it, baby. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get it in this old Tenet K10 right here. With the nice rose gold handle you can see in the in the shot there. And I'm going to, I'll do it for 20 minutes. I think I'll probably do it for 20 minutes. I'm going to do it exactly as it says, 200 degrees for 20 minutes and see where we're at. I'll give it a shake after 10 and I'll check it. So all three of us are going to be trying this, so I'm putting the whole bag in. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They look like mini fillets. More than chicken strips. They look good. So. And I tell you now, you get... Oh, we'll count them when they're done. So you get a basket full. Look at that. 500 grams. All fits in nicely. Plenty of room in this alternate K10. That one looks like a little chicken wing. <laughs> right, straight here. There is a chicken setting, but that's a frozen chicken setting, I'm imagining. So I'm just going to go up to 195 for 20 minutes. And I'll bring you guys back when it's ready to taste. So these are ready. Let's take a look. That has been in for the 20 minutes. Look in there. Like I said, they look like mini fillets. So we'll get them on this plate. 
I'll drop you guys down slightly. Get that out of the way now. See how that's done. Cut that. There we go. Chicken breast fillet. Chicken breast fillet strips for heat to style coating. So let's, let's put that up there. Right, obviously they're going to be absolutely roasting because they've just come out of the air fryer now. However, I'm going to try to break one in half. Let's give you a close look here. You can see on that coat in there, you can see all the seasoning. Ooh. If I broke that one. Looks like decent chicken. Looks like it's proper fibrous chicken. It's going to be juicy. Iceland chicken is generally quite good. So, let's try these. Oh, that one. The coating just came off that one, it fell apart, look at that. So now I've just got a bite of a coating, a hollow coat. And you can see the chicken in full there, look at that. Wow. It's already, I can tell it's moist, it's succulent. It's got the fajita, some sort of fajita sauce on the inside as well. Right, I'll let it cool down for just a minute, then I'll give it a taste. Okay, so it's all important taste time. We have got a plate full of fajita strips. Mrs. Dino has just taken one and she says they're going to be a little bit hot for her. I don't know yet. It's only one chilli rating. I don't know, one spice rating, so I don't know how that could be possible. I'm going to go for this chicken, the one that we opened a minute ago, straight away. Standard Iceland chicken. Really soft, succulent, very nice. No spice on that, but obviously the spice is on the outer coating. So, with that being said, I'm going to go with this hollow coating now. Just the coating, see, full spice, no chicken. There's no spice there. I don't know what she's talking about. On this style of chicken, I judge it by the KFC hot wings and it's nowhere near as spicy as the KFC hot wing. Nowhere near. It's got a mild spice at best. It's a tongue tingler. That's about it doesn't get to the back of your throat, it's gone before you swallow it, it's not, there's no spice at all. If you're looking for spice, don't get these. Now I'm not sure how much these were actually, I'll, uh, I'll just check. So these were £4 a bag and you only get a 500 gram bag, it's not the best price. There's, there's a plate full of, but if you're putting them in a wrap, you're probably only going to get three or four wraps, so you're going to be paying if you're after the wrap, you're going to be paying over a pound a wrap. Not sure, and that's without anything else in it. Not sure whether they're worth it. They don't, they have got a mild fajita seasoning, but they're not, they're not spicy at all. You're going to need to add peppers, onions, salsa, cheese. You're going to need to pimp these up if you're going to put them into a wrap. For me, I give them a, a five out of ten. They're not bad, but they're not great. And they're four pound a bag. I think you're probably getting the three for ten pound deal as well, but on their own, four pound a bag for 500 grams. It's not a lot. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you again for another food review. Did somebody say just What's happening, people? Back in the kitchen again. Hope you're all fantastic. Thanks for watching. Special. Wouldn't buy that again.